Hi there guys, I'm Moose with The Geek Group and today I'm going to talk about my new camera. It is a Sony 850 and what is special about this particular camera aside from being a DSLR is it is a full frame DSLR which means that instead of using the size of sensor that you see in a normal digital camera it uses the same size sensor that you see in a 35 millimeter camera. Um, what that means when you're using the camera is you get to take advantage of every millimeter that you have in a lens. If you have a 20 millimeter lens and put it on a DSLR that is not full frame, it's really about 38 millimeters. And that extra five or six millimeters makes a huge difference. It's also 24 megapixels, which means that it will match 35 millimeter film in pretty much every test you can give it. Now, this is a pretty hefty camera. I was a little bit surprised when I took it out of the box. It weighs four pounds without a lens attached. It's basically weatherproof. You can take pictures in the rain and it won't really affect it. And underneath the very tough outer shell is magnesium. So it's about as lightweight as they could make it reasonably, but it still has quite a bit of heft. And it does not come with a on-camera flash. Um, kind of useless when you're working with this much camera but it does have a plug here if you want to uh, put an off body flash onto it and of course you have the removable shoe up here. Now one of the very few gripes that I have about using a Sony camera is that it uses a proprietary hot shoe. So if you want to use a flash that you get for any other camera you have to buy a $35 adapter which is a little bit silly but it's one of the quirks that comes with using Sony. And it uses any of the uh, Sony Minolta lenses, which is great. I have a whole little collection, and they all work fantastic with it. And the camera itself is set up a little bit different than the uh, DSLRs that I'm used to. Down here, it has a switch. So if you want to preview, you can choose to preview what your speed will look like, um, your aperture, your color, or your uh, manual setting. It lets you have three separate custom settings. So if you want to preset the white balance, the speed, and the aperture, you can preview that, and you have to use this button over here. But when you're taking the picture, if you don't want to uh, guess by taking 10 or 12 pictures in a row, you can use the preview setting, which works really well in um, still photography setting. Up here, it's got the button, or the switch that all of the Sony users are familiar with by now, that uh, does the manual or auto settings. But they change things around on the right side of the camera. We now have an LCD panel up here, which is really great. It tells you your battery and how many pictures you have left. And if you tell it you're going to take a picture, it'll tell you the speed and the aperture, which is just fantastic to see that up here. You also see that on the back, on the view screen, and you'll see it in the eyepiece. And that makes life a lot easier when you're trying to set up for things, especially telling you how many pictures are left. Um, it's hard to kind of guess that by having to go look through the view screen. And one of my favorite features of the uh, new camera is the joystick. Instead of having four buttons and a button in the middle, which is really hard to manipulate if it's cold outside and you're wearing mittens, Having a joystick makes that really quick. And one of the main reasons that I decided to stay with Sony instead of going with Canon or uh, Nikon was because this camera does have um, the steady shot built into the camera instead of having to use um, a lens that has a steady shot. This is really handy if you take low light pictures. I have a lot of practice with steady hands and I can take a picture that has an exposure of over two seconds, completely handheld, no tripod or leaning against something and it comes in perfectly exposed and sharp. A lot of this has to do with me being used to being still but your heart's going to beat more than once in two seconds so it's really handy to have the steady shot in there. Um, a few other things that are really nice about the 850 in particular is it's autofocusing. Um, it uses the nine point that we're very familiar with, but instead of simply choosing one of the nine points, it will cluster and choose. It'll notice if you have several things that are the same distance away, and it will let you choose if you want to focus on part of it or all of it that's in the same distance, if it's not in the same single point on the camera. Um, it's not the top of the line for the Sony Alpha series. There is the A900, which costs about $1,000 more than this one, 
but there didn't seem to be a lot of difference between it. And looking on the internet, everybody that has the 850 seems to really love it. And the main difference was um, five frames per second versus three frames per second. Uh, the 900 comes with a remote, and um, the 900 has a 100% uh, viewfinder, and this has a 98%. And that's really not a big deal. Uh, it just means that there'll be about 20 pixels above and below the viewfinder that you don't see when you're taking the picture, and that's easy enough to guess for. Um, overall, I'm really excited to have this camera. It's a lot better than the A100, which I got the week it came out. So in the past three years, Sony has made a lot of great advancements with it, and I look forward to showing everybody the pictures that this can take at uh, 24 megapixels. So I'm Moose with the Geek Group, and I hope you learned a little bit about the Sony 850, and we'll have more for you later.